Hello, welcome to Troll Plays. Today we're going to be taking apart this standard Xbox Elite controller. We're going to be doing a couple things. We're going to be putting a new shell on the front, along with some gold anti-friction rings, a new gold profile selector button, gold thumbstick domes, and also this nice little kit here that has uh, gold D-pads, gold triggers, and then unfortunately these didn't come in gold. So I'm probably gonna switch those out later. You will need this special uh, security bit. Usually when you order these shells, uh, one is included. You'll need the screwdriver and you'll need a pry tool of some sort to pull the back off of this. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the paddles off. Since we won't be needing those, also gonna go ahead and take the battery cover off. Now to get inside this thing, you're gonna to have to take these grips off on either side. And they're a little bit tricky to get off the first time. Uh, there's a little strip of adhesive right here on the inside. And that kind of keeps everything stuck together along with some plastic clips. But that adhesive, the first time you do this can be very, very sticky and extremely hard to pull these off. But just use gentle but firm pressure. Uh, some popping is good. And then once you get that off, you'll have five screws. There'll be one here here on either side and then one behind this battery sticker right here and not sure if this voids your warranty so if you're worried about your warranty i would probably not do this or check before you do this uh, this controller is way out of warranty i'm not too worried about that right now go ahead and pull these thumb sticks off all right so first thing we want to do is we want to try to pry along this line to pop the uh, the side off Like I said, I've done this before, so mine it probably isn't as hard. There's the adhesive I was telling you about, just a small little sticky strip, and then that should pop right off. The first time I did this, I thought I was uh, breaking my controller. you'll see that adhesive come up a little bit and if you can leave it on there I would suggest to just to kind of add another point for this to hold on to or you could use some double-sided tape or something like that all right so here's the screws again there's one right in here right beside the trigger on either side and then one behind this so we'll go ahead and take these screws out last screw I said is behind here there's a you can feel a little dimple right here in the thing and the best thing to do is just take your screwdriver and puncture through there and then you should see the screw down in there Now that all the screws are loosened up, the faceplate should just lift off that easy. And you're good to go on that. Actually, we can take this off too, because we we're not gonna need that for right now. All right, the next step, if you're just replacing the faceplate, then you're pretty much done here, because all you have to do is put the faceplate on and then put the screws back on. Since we're also changing out these anti-friction rings I'm going to go ahead and slide those in and you'll see the little uh, grooves there you need to match up with the grooves on these rings as well and some people say to go in from the front you just want to be real careful doing this because if you break one of those little tabs off of there you're going to be in for a bad time So just put one, get one side started and just gently work your way around. I like the gold on this. I think this is going to look really good. Also, we're replacing the, the uh, thumbstick dome. So we're just going to pull those off and they should just come straight up. 
just like that. And then we're going to replace it with these gold ones here. And it doesn't matter which side goes on which. But there is, there's two flat sides on these little, the nubs that are left. And on the back of this, there's also a flat side on, on the other sides as well. So, so let's stick those back in there. Give them a, a firm push, not too firm, but firm enough to make sure that they're seated. All right, so that looks good. The next step we're gonna do is we're also gonna replace this system selector button and it just comes straight out. It's fairly easy. And these things only go in one way, so you'll know pretty quick whether you have it in or not. And this is a, a loose switch whenever there's nothing in there. You just wanna make sure everything's back in together. And the next step is to add our awesome little uh, face plate. And again, that should just sit right back on there. And then we're carefully going to flip this over. all your screws are back in the next thing you need to do is take your grips and just click those back into place make sure that they click in really good on all sides again you just want to use some firm pressure to make sure that those little plastic retaining clips actually click in and also that adhesive that you left on there or replaced is going to uh, help stick it on there as well All right, so that controller's back together. And now we're going to use our other gold accessories. We'll put the gold D-pad on there. I don't really care for this one that much because I'm not a, a fighting game player. I like the traditional D-pad. And then of course our gold paddles are gonna go on the back. grab the battery door back together and since these thumbsticks didn't come with any different colors I'm just going to put my old ones back on and again that's an easy upgrade uh, I don't really care for the silver on the gold but that's a really quick upgrade since these are magnetic they're really easy to just stick back on there and there you have it. We have taken apart and reassembled, reshelled, put some new bling on our Xbox One Elite controller.